Hey, Courtney, get, given that you guys did beat Oklahoma last season, what would you say on offense is the key to pulling an upset against this team? Well, I think the biggest thing is going to be executing. You know, when you, you go back and watch last year's game, it didn't matter if it was third down or if it was a first and, first and ten and we ran the ball, it's how well we executed. And did it with really a, a pretty good amount of consistency um, for a stretch. Started out the game a little slow, got, got down by ten, um, but kept grinding a little bit, then got rolling. Um, and then obviously at the end there, kind of held on. But uh, I think it's all about just executing the play in front of you. Going back to the Arkansas State game, can you walk me through the two plays uh, when Will Howard was in there, what you thought of him? And just given what, everything he's done through, through camp, could you envision playing him uh, in more circumstances this season? Well, excited about him and, and wasn't nervous at all as far as uh, – because we wanted to get his feet wet a little bit, wanted to jump him in there. And, and obviously the first play was a run play that, that we knew the quarterback was going to carry it and really didn't, didn't have a desire to get Skyler hit, uh, but wanted to see – see how Will handled just the environment of saying, okay, you're out there and it's a real game setting. Um, and then the second play, you know, it could have been easy to say, okay, he got his play. It didn't work out great. Uh, get Skyler back in and, and throw it with Skyler. But, but we feel comfortable with Will as, a, as a, both a running guy and a guy that can really throw it well. And, and obviously he threw a strike to Jackson and, and you know, was a, was a really, really nice and well-executed play. Scott Fritchin. Yeah, hey, Courtney, um, what's the benefit to having a Skylar Thompson back there who uh, is experienced, who's had uh, experience against Oklahoma, who's had experience on the big stage? Well, I think the biggest thing goes back to that experience factor from it didn't matter if it was OU or, or who it is. He's been able to show he, he can win games. Um, if it's back to a couple years ago against an Iowa State, if it's back to uh, 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 last year where you said, okay, we need to throw a big time uh, third down conversion against OU where he threw it to Dalton Schoen on a, on a post where, man, he, he rose up and, and delivered. And, and that's, that's the thing that he's really done well for us is kind of stay within himself and make plays when they're in front of you. And, and we'll need to do that, obviously, this week. The, the running game had a tough time going in, in the opener. What do you feel were the major issues there? And what are you guys really emphasizing this week? Well, the, the first part is just what coach talks about all the time, and that's the communication aspect. And, um, you know, obviously being an odd front, we knew it was going to be different in the four down we see every day. Um, they did slant and angle a little bit and move, and, and we've got to do a good job this week of being on, on the same page as a group of five. And unfortunately, there were too many times the running backs were trying to make someone miss um, before the line of scrimmage rather than two or three or four yards past the line of scrimmage. Who do you anticipate being the starting lineup for the offensive line this week? Um, you know, I think it'll be pretty similar uh, to, to last week. I, I really think it'll be, be, you know, I think Cooper Beebe will, will be one. Um, KT uh, should be the other tackle. And then uh, Revis will be a guard, Noah Johnson, and, and then Ben Adler. Great. Thank you. Derek? Yeah, Coach, I guess from the first game against Arkansas State, what kind of bugged you the most about that performance, and how have you taken strides from that since? Well, I think two things. One is just, just worrying about my own job, taking care of my own job over and over and over again. That's something we've got to do a great job of is, is hey, I have a part of this puzzle that I'm supposed to execute, and, and I need to do that. Um, the other thing that I was disappointed in is we had opportunities to make big plays and yes, we made some, and, and guys, guys had some, some big plays, but we probably left four big plays out there that could have been touchdown or at least put us in the red zone. Um, and we've shown, and, and knock on wood, that if we get opportunity to get down in there, we, we're going to score points, and, and we got to keep doing that. Um, but, but the most disappointing probably was not executing a couple times that could have given us either touchdowns or ball, the ball in the red zone. How much does it help to kind of probably – have many of those wide receivers back. Is that a big difference for you guys? Yeah, I think that uh, as a whole, we'll feel much better this week from the wide receiver standpoint, just because of, uh, you know, some guys getting their feet wet and then other guys now truly getting out there and playing. And, and I think we'll be at much more, quote, full strength this week. Thank you. Kels? Have you already thought about uh, some ways you could get Deuce Vaughn even more involved? 
from what he showed you in week one? You know, yeah, I'd love to get him the ball as many times as we can. The, the, the thing is, you can't overload him. you got to allow him to play fast. Um, and he's done a phenomenal job, and he really is a sponge, even though he's as young as he is. He's really came in and tried to learn as many things as he can. Um, but we want him to play fast. So, um, you know, I, I, yeah, you might see him, quote, move out of the backfield and then come across and run a fly sweep type of deal. But the biggest thing is, how can we make sure he feels comfortable with the offense so he can just go be himself and, and play at the, at the fastest level he can? I also wanted to ask, did having Briley Moore out there open up things on offense that weren't available to you last season? Well, I think as much as anything, even though a lot of them were in a short space, his ability to create space and get open. Um, you know, he didn't have a bunch of 40-yard touchdown plays, uh, but, but just as an example, the one uh, – where we kind of slipped him out and, and caught the touchdown. Um, it's that ability to just have a quick twitch, ability to create space, even though it's maybe in a, in a short space, not clear down the field. Skyler feels really comfortable with that, and, and that helps. The, that chemistry really helps. Derek? Yeah, Coach, uh, we didn't see a whole lot of Tyler Burns in week one. Didn't see Jacardia right at all in the backfield. Do you envision that kind of changing going forward? You no, know, I, I would hope this week, the way the game unfolds, that Tyler will get more more opportunity. Um, Jacardia is a little bit more, just depends on how the flow of the game is going and, and where we see the need. Um, and and But I, I, I'm, I won't guarantee anything, but I would hope that both would play and Tyler would play quite a bit more. Thank you.